go to the free CAD website. The link is in the description. Here you see the latest stable version number. Scroll down to see what's changed in this version. Below that, you can download the free CAD 1.0 release candidate build. Then you see the GitHub website where you see all the versions that you can download. For this video we use the Windows 64-bit installer. After downloading, run the installation and start FreeCAD. When FreeCAD is open, go to Edit and select Preferences. In the General tab, you can change the units. The FreeCAD dark theme is selected for this video. Tree and property view is set to independent. The property view is here on the right. And the tree view will be here on the left later. Now go to display and select colors. Select radial gradient. The central color is this shade of gray. And the end color is slightly different. Now go to the workbenches tab. You can set your favorite workbench as default. Select tab bar with icon and text. The workbench menu will look like this then. You can drag a workbench to another position. The order here will then be changed. You can see which ones are loaded here. Now go to Sketcher and select Grid. Here you can disable the grid by default. Go to Display. It's recommended to check this box. Orthographic view will be forced in sketches. Also this box should be checked. When sketching, you will always see a cut view. Go to Display and select 3D view. Perspective camera view can be set to default. Now go to the UI tab. The style sheet is set to free CAD dark. A dark theme and background are selected. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. It's time for toolbars now. Right click on it. Tree view, property view and tasks are checked. Click here to uncheck lock toolbars. Now you can drag and move the toolbars. Check it again to lock the toolbars. Right click here and you see tasks is checked. This is the tasks menu to access quick actions. Create a new body. Create a sketch and click on a plane to sketch on. Go to the toolbar. Right click and unlock it. Now you can rearrange the sketcher toolbars. Here you can toggle the grid. Drag this section to the left. Right click here and lock the toolbar. Now draw a circle on the origin. Enter a dimension and press enter. It's already fully constrained now. Click close to exit the sketch. Now you see many other quick actions. Select pad to extrude the circle. Check this box to extrude symmetrically. Click OK to apply. 
Select the body in the tree view. Click the eye icon to toggle visibility. In older versions, you had to press spacebar. Select the body and go to the property view. Expand placement and then position. Here you can quickly move objects. Also sketches can be moved this way. Select the body again. Move it to the original position. You can also rotate an object here. Axes with a value of 1 will be active for a rotation. Watch how it rotates. The property view is indispensable. Right-click on the body. And select Appearance. The menu is too small. You can expand it here at the top. Select Custom Appearance. Then select Ambient Color and pick one. Click Close to apply. Click Close again to exit. The object has changed color. Right-click on the body again. Select Random Color to add another color. So that were some basics to get started. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects. Get commercial access to all my 3D files to sell 3D prints. Thanks for watching. You might find other videos interesting too.